Hello and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the color palette icon tutorial. I've got my canvas here with a old style easel palette and a gradual radiant there with which is moving from kind of a dark gray to a lighter gray. And we have our colors on the right hand side of a 17 by 1700 canvas. Let's get straight into it. We're going to select our rectangle tool and draw a rectangle uh, somewhere around this size. Maybe bring it in a bit more. Yeah, let's work with this and um, stretch it up a bit more. Then we're going to double click this rectangle and we're going to see nodes. We're going to select the circular node holding control and drag down to get about a moderate curve for the edge of the box. This looks good. All right, and then we're just going to get rid of this stroke. Then we're going to create another rectangle and drag this rectangle across. In fact, let's turn on our snap tool to make things easier. Make sure the snap nodes, paths, and handles is selected. And then from that, make sure snap to path is selected. We're going to select the rectangle tool and it will snap to the path. We just want it about here is good and we want the rectangle about this fin put it in black so it's easier to see all right then we're going to select this circle and we're just going to drag it out because we want the rectangle to be a complete rectangle edge to edge then we're going to select hold shift and select the path below it and we're going to go to path division and path and division should give us three segments here. We're going to turn the top two segment. We're going to turn the bottom segment to red, the top segment to a light gray, and the middle segment to the same red. We're going to go to object and fill and stroke and turn that into a darker red on the hue, saturation, and lightness tab in fill, and by dragging the slider to the left. And that gives us this looking shape. Yeah? Looks good. Next, we're going to get the circle tool and create a circle. And we're going to take off the snaps. Then we're going to hold shift, select the circle and this gray box here. And we're going to go to object, align and distribute. And we're going to align this circle to the center on the X and Y axis. Then we're going to duplicate the circle and drag it in. We're going to select the dropper tool and select this gray and we have ourselves the first palette stick. Let's just bring it down slightly and bring the circle down slightly. Good. The next thing we're going to do with this palette stick is that we're going to select all three of these rectangles and then we're going to duplicate them. Then I'm going to go to path and union and bring them back into one full shape. And we're going to duplicate it again. Let's give this a different color of gray. And we're going to move it to the left slightly until we have this ridge here. And this is going to become the bezel shadow that, um, or become the shadow that's going to create the bezel effect on our palette. So we're going to go to path and difference. Then we're going to give this a color of the dark gray in the top right, top right or left or bottom left or right corners. And we're going to reduce the opacity to about 30. So I'm going to come here and we're going to type in 30. Good. Next, we're going to duplicate the three again. I should have just kept it from last time, but that's okay path and union to unify them and we're going to make this a opacity of 15 and we're going to drag this slider down until it's black and then we're going to put this underneath our palette stick like so Good. Then we're going to hold shift while we're in the middle of the canvas so that we can draw a 
surrounding box and we're going to select everything in this box in the front palette and the shadows and then we're going to group it with Control and G we're going to click it one more time and we're going to see this cross in the middle and this is the pivot line for which the rotation activates so we're going to pull this holding control up to the very top of this shape to this top of this inner gray circle and we're going to pull it slightly to the side so it's more in the center of this gray circle good then we're going to duplicate this with control and D click it once more to get the rotational handles hold control for increments of rotation and rotate out to the right hand side then we're going to click this red click the green instead we're going to select this red shadow here click the green instead come down to the hue saturation and lightness tab in the lightness slider and slide to the left to make a darker shade good this looks really good we should have made this a different color but we'll change it later on all right then we're going to just click out and click again and we're going to drop this to the bottom if we come down here we're going to notice that the shadow sort of comes out of the of the range that we want it to on the top as well as the bottom we're on the bottom right now so we're just going to create a shape and cut this out right here with path difference good and at the top we're going to do a very similar thing zoom in here with our mouse wheel and control and we're just going to cut out the shadow from going over where we really want it to go but first let's just remove this bezel so that we can see well, I don't want the bezel for the front element here and we notice the shadow goes out here so we're just going to draw a line right here and we're going to cut this shadow as well Good. Make sure it is not connected to anything. Alright. Let's paste it again. Let's go again and cut this shadow here. Path difference. Good and that will cut our shadows so we're going to duplicate this top one hold control duplicate with control and D hold control with this rotational handle and we're going to increment it tw two times and we're going to fill in with the new color which is the orange and then we're going to select red so with D dropper tool we're going to select the orange again hue and saturation lightness tab and drag down to the left on the lightness slider good then we're just going to select it and drop it and now at this time we can begin to color in some of these so we want this to be a darker gray good and then we're just going to remove the basic the bevel on this and we're going to duplicate again one more increment and change this orange to a blue change this this um, rectangle here to a blue also bring it down in the lightness slider like we have done for the previous three and then drop it underneath lift up slightly we want that one to be a black as well and we're going to duplicate it once more hold control so that the rotational handle increments up and then we want do to be a purple select the purple in the lightness drag it down slightly 
And let's make this a gray. Lift it up. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Rotational handle, single up. We're going to change this to a gray in the background. It shouldn't really be red, but you can use any color. I'll change it at the end. And then we're just going to drop it below everything. We forgot to change the color. Let's change it to this new green. Select this purple right here. Set the green and carry it down slightly. And we're going to delete this last shadow. No need for it. And there we have our color palette icon. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like this, you can leave a comment in the blog post attached to this. You'll see a detailed breakdown of this tutorial also in the blog post. Also, you'll find the colors as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But until we talk again, and to do another tutorial, get up and design a new door. Later.